Alright, welcome back to another part. Time to deal with St. Patrick's Day. Very fitting, we are in uh, March. We're in April and St. Patrick's Day was just a... Uh, was not too long ago, like a few weeks ago. And uh, what you're hearing outside is a bunch of rain. I apologize for that, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, Prudence is the customer and put of gold topping is the last of all of the St. Patty's Day uh, toppings. Very cool uh, holiday. I must say that I am a, a big fan of it. And uh, yes, indeed, it's uh, raining very heavily where I'm at in the tropical jungle of uh, Costa Rica. But I'm going to try to to speak as loudly as I can to diminish the sound of rain, which is uh, incredibly loud. <laughs> but okay. So, uh, St. Patrick's Day is, of course, really cool. Look, look at every everything we have unlocked here. We are getting very close to unlocking everything in the game. And we are only missing three more holidays after this one, which is Easter. And the Big Top Carnival one, which is my personal favorite. And then the Volcano holiday. So, lots of good holidays coming up. Paula is arriving again. Uh, very annoying actually uh, We're gonna get her on gold. She's gonna be the very first customer to get a gold a little bit concerning because uh, I Might lose out on another customer if she arrives, which would be very annoying. So uh, I Hope that she does not arrive again. So I probably need to do some weird Weird shenanigans with coupons or whatever to stop her from arriving But uh, yeah it is, that's what this game is, it's pure RNG when it comes to getting every customer on gold, in case you care about that. Probably not, because of all of the efforts you gotta put in. Alright, here's our first order of the day, Prudence, she likes Valentine's Day, so we are a little bit ahead. So no St. Patrick's Day toppings there, on her Sunday. Uh, Scooter is arriving, and I need to serve... Uh, I need to serve her the uh, the sugar plum streusel in order to get an achievement. So that's partly why I have it activated. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and do this. Get this out of the way. Um, red velvet syrup. And here we are. So I'm gonna serve that to Scooter in a little bit. This is the last, hopefully the last time we see Paula in a very long time, but... I think she's one of the weird customers that changes her outfit constantly because due to the holiday that's activated, but... Don't quote, quote, quote me on that. Uh, I could be wrong, but... She has arrived a lot, and she arrived during Halloween wearing some Halloween outfits, so... Uh, I think she's one of the... She's kind of a unique customer because she was introduced with... Papa Louis pals, so she might be she likes every holiday and just dresses up accordingly or something. I don't know There's something with her at least because she has arrived uh, a lot That's a gear Guido of course the standard uh, or George Gito. little George I guess standard uh, St. Pat Patrick's Day customer there There we go number three that is a very nice and quick order. Oops. Oh, okay, okay, it's the same. I forgot, I gotta do the streusel. I can't be on autopilot. Alright, so strawberry syrup. <laughs> Almost on autopilot there. Sugar plum. Right here. Then I believe it was nuts, right? Yeah. Peanuts and a cherry. In order to get her achievement. Scooter, what do you say? She does approve. Perfect. Another. Another. Uh, another sticker for us. I'll take it. CG Friskins is uh, such a weird customer, but okay. Um, always nice to see uh, customers that are low on stars. So I'll take it. But I really wonder, like, uh, about his flip deck. 
it's gonna be very interesting to see. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one because the sixth warrior is also a sugar pumps destroyer. So a lot, a lot of sugar pumps, sugar plum destroyers there. All right, George. Let's see. It's the regular, regular whipped cream for you. Put a gold, of course. That looks pretty good. The key lime, which is a regular, regular topping. This one is regular as well. Could have also been St. Pa Patrick's Day, but I guess it makes sense to have it as a regular one. I've noticed that whenever you unlock something, you unlock... When you unlock something with the holiday, you usually unlock something that also could have been a part of that holiday. That's a pattern I've seen quite often. Like, we just unlocked the key lime thing. So that could obviously have been, been placed in this holiday, but... Alright, so... Whipped cream. We're almost done with the day already, like, it goes by so quickly. Uh, sh it's sugar plum first, right? No, it's uh, strawberry first. Uh, for some reason, I can't remember this simple recipe. It's just, uh... Sugar plum right there, and then... Peanuts. And a cherry. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I had to double check that too, so that's CJ's fris friskins order, perfect. We've mastered that one too. We've gotten... we finished with a... oh, crap. Whatever. <laughs> Amy, another bad customer in terms of stars, so that's good. Always good to see those customers arriving. Eventually I'll have to write down which customers are ordering what specials. When it gets, uh, when we get very far into the game, but I have a feeling I'm not going to uh, to get every customer on gold due to how long you have to grind. But uh, we'll see. Just you, if you play a little bit every day, at some point you are going to finish, you know. So yeah, there's Kaunas Sunday. There we go. Just keep going. So sugar plum and the nuts and the cherry. That's number six. Very good. Not perfect though. I mean, I completely messed up the uh, 35, so <laughs> that was pretty bad. But it doesn't matter because we are way past the grind of getting perfect. I have a lot of gifts open too. I think there's like 40 customers that have outfits I can give to them right now, which is pretty funny. But as I said, I'm gonna make it into a very long video where I just open every single gift. Because I uh, think that's cooler. We've, we've seen most of the outfits anyway. So it's not like I'm dying to have the, the customers wearing something else. Alright, so here's are the peanuts, number seven. Lucky sevens, and um, there we go. Kauna is done. Silver and three, so gotta get him on gold fairly soon. When we reach Big Top Carnival, I guess. Alright, skip that. We can also skip this. And that's, uh, that's, that's stickers, so. When we go here, serve a purple palm special to Polly. No! She needs to arrive again. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that stinks. That's really annoying. I guess it is inevitable. It is inevitable. But okay. I gotta remember that in case she does arrive again. Uh, yeah, that's more or less gonna be it for the video. I'm just gonna see here. What am I missing? Chocolate cream meal to Captain Cory. I guess that's a little bit hard to time because Cory arrives on a certain day, so I'm probably gonna do that one off screen right now. It's right here. I can get the chocolate cream meal and I can just serve it to Cory when she arrives, which is the day after Kauna, so perfect. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit the store real quick. Don't have that much money, but to be fair, there's not that much left to buy. Uh, furniture. Uh, yeah, at this point, I gotta start buying Big Top Carnival stuff, so... 
gets a few things. A couple of things there, and take a look at the ingredients before we end the video. So, the Lucky 7s, pot of gold topping, Irish whipped cream, the pistachio syrup, lower cookie, and green emerald cake. And also the key lime topping and the, the chai tea syrup and cherry cordials were unlocked as well since the, the last video. And I see now that I'm gonna unlock the mint bar. You see another another topping that could have been associated with St. Patrick's Day, as I said earlier. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I'll probably see you in uh, in the, the Big Top Carnival Easter. I'll just do off screen. So uh, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you soon.